Hi everyone, this is Sulky. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to test a method for kicking out a villager. I saw Para's quick and easy guide to empty plots on Twitter, so I figured I'd test it out with all of you and see if it works. And if you're unfamiliar with it, here it is on the screen. Today, we're going to be trying to kick out Lolly from our island, and we're gonna do so by following her steps. The first thing that we do is talk to two to three villagers, and it won't matter who, contrary to what other people have claimed. Some people have said that avoiding one villager you want to move out works, but this method says that no matter what, it's always going to be random. So we'll do this method as many times as we need until we get the correct villager out, which would be Lolly in my case. So now that I've talked to some villagers, we're going to save the game and exit, and then we're going to time travel forward by one month and one day. So I started on March 1st, so I'm going to go up to April 2nd and then start the game. Once we're all loaded in, we're going to exit the game after saving and then time travel one month backwards. So for me, that would be going from April 2nd back to March 2nd. Let's load back up the game and check and see if anyone is thinking about leaving. We can tell if someone wants to leave by seeing them thinking or having a thought bubble over their head. So immediately we see Meringue here thinking, and since we did find someone thinking, that's good. However, it's the wrong villager. So we're just gonna close down the game without saving and then time travel up by one day. So we're going up from the second to the third. And then we can load right back into the game. So I don't see anyone. I'm gonna close out the game again without saving and go back in time by one day. All right, so it's Meringue again. Let's quickly close the game. And since we saw someone thinking, we're gonna move up by one day. No one thinking today, so let's change the date backwards by one and load right back in. All right, so there we go. Lolly has a thought bubble, and now we can go ahead and give her the all clear to move out. So she's gonna be in boxes tomorrow, and then the day after that, you'll have your open plot. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like now while I go over a couple of notes. So please note that I was running past every villager's house and through the square to make sure I didn't see anyone thinking. The second important note is make sure when you're searching for someone thinking, you do it in under five minutes before the auto save goes on. And the last thing I wanted to mention before I wrap up is if you don't see a villager with thoughts two times in a row, you're going to move forward a day instead of back a day again. And here's the handy guide again for reference. And that about does it. So we tested Para's guide and it worked for me. So give it a shot the next time you need to move someone out and let me know how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.